crazy is that, right? One more time, let's spy, let's spy cord. <laughs> Almost! Chris Keys! We're doing a first look and this is exciting because um, our good friends at Earthquaker Devices, I'm sure many of you know about these weirdos making great pedals right in Ohio, Akron, in the USA. Um, this is their brand new pedal released today uh, on August 29th. So this is truly a first look for all of you out there because they've kept this thing closely guarded under wraps. It's in a it's in a safe. We had to write a bunch of or sign a bunch of non-disclosure agreements, all <laughs> that stuff. Uh, anyway, this is it is just out right now, and um, really excited about it. So this is a true pitch shifting vibrato. And vibrato, not to be confused with a tremolo, tremolo is an alteration in volume. You know, essentially, you're getting like a, you know, you're getting, yeah, it goes up, it goes, it goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. But in uh, what they're doing here, they're, they're using, they're, they're using, I guess, short delays to alter the waveform. Um, and the cool thing about it, it gives you everything from like a weird swampy vintage ampy sound from amps that have vibrato to like weird flangery things or or, or um, almost kind of dive bomby or phasery. Lots of great weird tones and some traditional tones in this. And you have eight different modes of modulation to go through. On top of that, true bypass, silent uh, switching, all analog uh, dry signal path, um, all digital wet signal path, a lifetime guarantee. Uh, we like that. And, uh, and kind of a cool, weird little graphic, which I like. So, so that is the, ac uh, the aqueduct. Now, why don't we just play a little bit and you can see what it does. Um, right now, that's my bass tone, and I'm playing, this is my B and G stepsister. Just going straight into that Nace amp. We're micing with that Royer 121. Um, but that's our bass tone. Great, nothing wrong with that, I love it. But let's try and do a little bit of this. Let's start with sign. The sign, to me, is pretty subtle. In fact, we've turned it down enough and it's just like... That, that, that pitch bend is so subtle that it's hard to even notice it. Just a, you know, kind of a pretty tone. Turn up that depth. It's a little more crazy, or that rate. You know, get a little bit more from it, but that to me is is more of a traditional vibrato tone. Next, we get the triangle, which I love. That it's almost like a crazy organ kind of thing. Just, just a cool tone. Now, granted, turn up that depth, and it's going to get pretty seasicky. Uh, but I think that's part of the charm. Um, next, we got a, uh, we got ramp, which again, put her up there quite a bit. Just a weird, neat tone. Again, kind of like a fake organ thing in a way. I can see that. Not so much a B3, more like a Lowry you'd hear back in the in a mall in the you know, 
in the 70s and 80s, you know. Just cool weirdness. And again, you can kind of, you can kind of fake that as a tremolo thing too. small for me so um might want to look at that <laughs> i don't know i mean look at this thing chris the writing's a little small i get it but i don't know how else you could do it because you've got this one knob uh your your mode knob is, is going through the, all those eight knobs and i don't know if there's any way to make them bigger and uh, uh but you got mode and then over here you got rate and depth so it's easy enough uh but difficult to see now this one, this is a cool little feature with these really extreme depths. Here's a cool thing about the switch. You can do it where you hit it and it's on, but if you want to just hit one note and have it on, you could do something like, you, you just hold it down and it's on as long as you have your foot on it. So, it's almost like a whammy. That's kind of cool. I mean, so you can, in fact, let me turn that dip all the way up. Let's try that again. So a neat, a neat little bit there. One, well, if you um, hit it on, it's on, or if you just hold your foot on, it's as long as you, it's on for as long as your foot's on there. Uh, next, let's see, what do we got? Uh, I guess this is, Random? Yeah, I think so. So. You know, particularly for you crazy noisemakers, I can see where that'd come in handy. That, I believe, is envelope and that I like a lot. A very, again, a very good kind of almost subtle chorus. And I particularly like it with a little bit of dirt. If I was listening to that, I wouldn't be able to identify what that is. In fact, I probably wouldn't even know there's anything on it. But there definitely is a little bit of a widening, a little bit of sparkle up top. Okay, let me go to the next one. about this pedal too if you're doing kind of dweedly bits it really kind of helps with that like a and it's you can almost kind of hear a little bit of a, a little bit of slap back almost Let me try it. Let me turn off my verb. Try that. Hear that? Like there's a little bit of like slap. And this 
is envelope pitch. That's almost kind of flangy. So cool options. So, I mean, this, uh, for the adventuresome types, this is a very cool thing to have in your toolbox. And even for the more traditional musicians, there comes a time where you kind of want something a little weird and this, this does it. And again, I love that it's made in Akron, has a lifetime guarantee. The, uh, the care is high. Uh, Earthquaker, big fan. Love what you're doing. What do we got coming up this week, Chris? Well, I know last week we had uh, Joe Bonamassa running oh. down. And this week, uh, well, actually later today is uh, Todd Rundgren. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, amazing. So two good ones. Two good ones. Yeah, man. Okay, the Bonamassa thing. That was awesome. That was such a treat. He actually let me play through his rig, which was mind blowing. I kind of want us to be best friends now and just hang out. <laughs> All the time. It was just. That's how I feel about you. Yeah, well, Chris, we are. You're my Joe Biden Moss. Yeah, yeah. I'm your nickel and dime. I'm JB, but a very nickel and dime version of that. Like a, like a JB, imagine one that doesn't play very well is kind of a goofball. Yeah, that's me. JB Light. <laughs> JB. Yeah, JB Budget. Okay, well, I guess that's uh, that's it. Why Can you just... uh, put the telly on? Oh, you know, why not, know. right? I've enjoyed. I'm enjoying this BNG, but let's. I mean, it's sitting there all lonely. It is exactly, man. This this guitar. This is my '67 custom, and I just love this damn thing, man. Uh, you obviously, you can see why. But let's try some of this. Till next time, folks.